We have new details tonight about that horrific limousine crash in upstate New York. 20 people died in the deadliest transportation accident in the United States in nearly a decade. Today, the governor told us the limousine had failed a state safety inspection, which checks such things as suspension and brakes. The Marco Morgan is at the scene 170 miles north of New York City. Two days after a deadly crash killed 20 people on their way to a birthday celebration, heartache turned to anger. The owner of the company had no business putting a failed vehicle on the road. When Governor Andrew Cuomo revealed disturbing new details about the vehicle and its driver while attending the Columbus State Parade, Governor Cuomo said the vehicle failed inspection last month. The state immediately ordered the owner of the limo, Prestige Limousine, to shut down, noting the driver, 53-year-old Scott Lisanikia, did not even have the appropriate license to drive the limo. The tragedy unfolded here on a serene fall day at this intersection, a known danger spot. Police say the 2001 Ford Excursion limo was traveling southwest down a hill on State Route 30 in Schoharie. It blew a stop sign at an intersection and plowed into a parking lot outside the Apple Barrel Country Store. The limo struck and killed two pedestrians and slammed into an unoccupied Toyota Highlander before it careened down a slope and came to a stop in a muddy ditch in the woods. The thing that is striking to me and to our team is the, the, the unfortunate number of fatalities. Robert Sumwalt is the head of the NTSB. So is, uh, if, if, a, if an entire engine block is moved back and basically crushed, moved back past the driver's seat, that would indicate there was a lot of force uh, and energy uh, involved in that crash. The young party goers, including four sisters, were reportedly texting about the limo's shoddy condition before the crash, had originally booked a bus, but after it broke down, they boarded the supersized limo. Federal records show the owner of Prestige, Shahed Hussein, has had five inspections of his oversized fleet. Four were pulled from service over the last two years. Public records show a man with the same name was the FBI informant who testified in two high-profile terrorism cases. Authorities did not say how fast the limo was traveling or speculate what caused the limo to run the stop sign, but it doesn't appear the driver applied the brakes. Prestige Limousine offered their condolences to everyone impacted in this incident and said that their goal is to provide answers as quick as possible. John State Police recovered the airbag control module, what would be considered the vehicle's black box. DeMarco Morgan, Forest in Saratoga Springs. Thank you, DeMarco.